What up, people? Revan the Legend, and welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard. And let's get cracking. I've got loads to show you today. Loads to show you. Firstly, uh, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really helps me grow the channel, and it is much appreciated. Um, if you watched the last video, you know we've just come back after a three-year hiatus. That's, that's three. Three years. So, um... Trying to build back up, and as you can see here, we've currently reached Cataclysm uh, tier, which is incredible from where I was. I've really managed to move up the tiers a lot. Oh, the grind. The grind! Um, Ring Domination was a was a big one. Managed to, to get all three cards for my tier on that, the final one being a Cataclysm card. Um, so first off, a bunch of stuff that I've done that I need to show you. First off, we're going to start off with... Uh, a Dulux pack. So we opened a Dulux pack and then also a men's division pack. I've been spending all my packs, alright? I've been spending all my money. So uh, I'll show you what happened right over here. So that was that there. That was mm, the Dulux pack could have been better. I mean, we we hit we hit the cards that we needed for the tier above, but we didn't really hit anything monumental, kind of. You know what I mean? Like we, we really could have used something big, um, but we didn't get it. Um, so next up after that, I did my first King of the Ring, King of the Ring, and um, I, it all came flooding back to me. Number one, that the rewards for the King of the Ring kind of suck. They do. They're just not great rewards, especially for the effort you have to put in. But since I won it, first one back and I managed to get a win, I'm going to show you what happened right there and there. So that was my King of the Ring victory, which was, like I said, it was okay. The rewards weren't great, unfortunately. Um, but with all the grinding I did, I was stacking tokens like a madman. And the issue I had was that my tier was WrestleMania 35 plus plus for a long time, and I was right on the cusp of moving up. So I had to grind all the stuff I could until I just moved into Cataclysm, and then I could open my tokens just to make sure that I was you know, have a better chance of hitting a higher card, let's say. So I'm going to show you what happened when I open two grand challenge packs, and you're going to see that again. It's going to be over, over that way.
So again, for the effort it took to get the tokens, and I, I don't know if that's fair actually, because it doesn't take a super amount of effort, but it is time consuming, so didn't really get what I wanted from that, to be honest, it wasn't quite there. Um, so from that point, what I really needed was uh, another top tier women card. Woman card. Women card. That's not a thing. Woman card! I needed a good woman card because all I had was uh, a Nightmare Tony Storm and then just nothing really. I mean, I think WrestleMania 35 was my, my closest after that. So, um, stacked together some credits and I opened a woman's pack. Um, three chances of hitting a decent card and... Did I? You're about to see. So I did okay. Um, two cards, not really usable, but I did manage to hit that Nightmare Shayna Baszler, which was a beast, and um, it's kind of rounded out my uh, my top eight now, which is really, really good. And then finally, um, we once we moved into Cataclysm, I managed to get obviously the freebie. Not really, um, not really like a like a, a deck changer, regardless. But I'll show you what I got. And that's right here. So the annoying part about this, like I probably said there, um, it was the card, the reward, uh, during Ring Domination. And I got it, and I ended up using it to train up Shayna, so... Um, I would have had another pro. I got the pro Samoa Joe. Um, as I'll show you here, we've got pro Samoa Joe, uh, Cataclysm, and I would have had a pro Dave Mastis as well. But hey ho, is what happens, people. Sometimes you make mistakes, and I made a mistake. All right. So this is my deck. Like literally, I've I've got rid of all the fat because I'm tra I'm training up Shayna, and she's only one away from uh, from a hundred. So th this is it. This is what I have. So we're obviously just into Cataclysm and Tear. Um, a couple Nightmare cards now. I managed to get him from Ring Domination as well. Um, I joined a random team for the Team Ring Domination, but unsurprisingly they didn't play. So I, I got two shards, checked an hour later, and then no one had done anything. So uh, unfortunately, couldn't really do anything that way either. So there we go. That, that, that is my deck. That is what I have. Um, it looks like I've got a King of the Ring to claim, which, um, oh, and a Fusion. So let's go look at the Fusion. I've got a SummerSlam 17, which I've been, um, oh, an 11 hours to that one. I I'm just doing it for the, like, the, the images that I haven't, you know, unlocked yet. So, uh, we'll just see what we get here. Oh, here's a new card. Uso. J. Alright, that's kind of sick. See, that's what I'm doing for these ones. I'm just kind of opening them up to, to get all the images that I don't have. Uh, and there is a few. I've got Miz, I've got Natalia. I want Asuka, I want all the Asuka ones. And I've been working on, um, on like, the new Fusion Chamber. Currently about to get a Shattered one. Um, I'm thinking I'm basically going to fusion it to the point where it helps my deck. Use it, and then I'll just move up as I move up. So I really need to hit um, Nightmare for the Fusion, because that's the only kind of tier that will help, uh, help me in, in my top 8. And I'll use it for a little while, and then I'll fusion it when it's done. Um, there's a couple... I mean, Papa Shango, that's got to be a sick card, surely. Uh, Liv Morgan and Andrade. So, you know, that's that's the goal here. I, I'm going to keep doing these until I reach that point there. And then we will just use it and go on. Uh, 180 credits. We'll see if we can get anything with that. But first off, King of the Ring. Oh, I'm in King of the Ring. I thought I had one open. Um, I have not been recharging, so... um. How did I reach the championship match? How's that even a thing? I'm I'm one 
three down. Oh, it's only the first game. Okay, so I have a chance then still. Um, he's not charged either. He just has better cards, it seems. So what I'm going to do is obviously throw in a bit of energy. Right, we'll see if we can sneak another win. Again, like the problem with King of the Ring is that the rewards just... I'm in Cataclysm tier, right? That's my top 8 tier. And this is what I can get. Like, literally, nothing here would help my deck whatsoever. I mean, I'm doing it mostly just for the extra picks. That's it. That's that's it, really. But, you know, okay. It's really weird that you can just walk to a final now. I've literally not energized once. It's very, very weird. I guess it's because the rewards are so bad. People just don't really play it, which is completely understandable. Um, Elimination Chamber, I've not done that event yet, so that's going to be new for me. Um, why are we digging here? Is it free pack time? It is. Dude, these free packs are kind of OP. Like, if you look at this, anything from, like, any of these top five would drastically change my change my deck, which would really be amazing. Even a SummerSlam could be cool. Cataclysm is what I'm on now, and anything below is just, you know, fodder for, uh, for training Shayna. But let's give it a go. These packs are really good. Ooh! Oh, I was 18! I thought it was 19! God damn! It was a freaking 18. No! I got really excited for a split second. I was like, ooh, Super Slam 19! That'd be kind of sick. Not so much. Right, let me skip this ad for you. And we're back. Let's go. That was a wonderful advert. You missed out. Ah, shattered. It's fodder. We're at least we're gonna get Shayna up to uh, to ninety nine on that. Um, we've done this, so we will bank some to. Oh, let's let's do it just for just for because we're rolling. Why not? Um, based on your top eight here, so the best you can get is a Cataclysm on one. But let's go for it. We're here. Why not? Why not? We're rolling. Uh, neon and a shattered. Ooh, shattered toughness though. Okay, uh, all right, I'm, not, I'm not overly mad at that. That's probably the best I've got. And then, uh, what can we do with 187? We could open... Well, Superstar card is within our range, but what can you get? Literally nothing that would help us. Like, absolutely nothing. All right, what have we got up here in the uh, writing on the wall? So, there is... A chance of an elemental, but it goes all the way down to gothic. I imagine the percentages are like, you know, 20, 20, 20, 10, 10, and then it comes down to like 1 or 2 or something like that. I mean, based off this, let's assume that the, the, the opening percentages are fair. There's a 50-50 chance of getting something better than what I have now, which I know is not how the percentages are probably lined up. But we'll do this one right on the wall pack. Well, we've done a lot on this episode. Imagine if I could get like something sick here. Uh, Cataclysm Triple H is not the worst, and I don't know what that is. I don't recognize that tier. Is that SummerSlam 19? SummerSlam 19? That's not bad. Okay, Triple H is not bad, actually. We are in Cataclysm tier. If we can get like a, a pro of that at some point, that's actually quite sick. That's, uh, that's not bad. I I'm not too mad at that, actually. So here we go, Triple H. Uh, Cataclysm, we've got a fusion, we've got the other one that's in the thing, let's just finish off Shayna. That's probably the way to finish this episode off. Let's get Shayna! Let's try Shayna here. Uh, what do we want to feed her? Let's feed her Dolph, see if that's enough. It's not! Really? Shayna, you greedy! You greedy! Uh, go on then, Jim. Get in there. Hurts my soul. There we go. Shayna, she's up. And can't forget our tokens. Can't forget the tokens. And then if we just go to deck, that is our top eight. So we're getting there. I mean, we, we need to fill these out with either Cataclysm Pros or some more Nightmare cards, but we're definitely on the way. Uh, Elimination Chamber, am I even gonna be eligible to do this? Okay, I guess I can. 
It would be nice to bump that up a bit. It might mean leveling up trips to try and get there. I'm just going to take a quick... A quick look! Because I've never done this game mode before. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's wild. Elimination Chamber. Right, our future game is Elimination Chamber. You need an all-male deck. Cool, got that. Are oh, you going to give me some more cards? Uh, Titan, Beast, Monster, Beast, Monster, Titan, Monster, Beast, Monster, Beast, Beast, and Titan. Alright, so some free cards to feed, to feed the wolves. I'll search for an opponent, I'll meet you in the ring. Oh, are we, are we playing? It looks like we're playing. Alright, well let's do one. Let's do one and find out. You have the maximum amount of draft picks. Oh damn. Oh damn! We're better than some of these. Jesus Christ. What is going on on this episode? Is I thought this would be a nice little short episode. Welcome everyone back to the Revan channel. And uh, it's just popped off. It's gone mad. It's gone mad! These must be these must be picks that I had from King of the Ring or something like that. In fact, what I'm going to do... I feel like I'm going to just... I'm going to get a reset and then I'm going to come out, come back in and then see if we can use those picks for the, um, the elimination, uh, elimination Chamber board. Whatever that is. I, I've not even played it. I don't even know what it is. So we'll just get a reset and then I'll come out and back in again. Goliath Victor. That's kind of cool, right? I'm going to pop back and pop back in. And we're back. Let's go. All right, Elimination Chamber. Show me how to do this, Big John. We'll allow it. All right, start search. Let's work out how this game works. You guys probably know how this game works. I've never played it before. First time. When I left three years ago, I think the only game modes were like the ring domination and then you would have your, your wilds and stuff like that. I don't think there was a whole lot more. Uh, Royal Rumble actually, there was Royal Rumble back then. Right, so what's going on here? Uh, men's elimination has the same rules as the women's, so you know what to do. I've never done a women's once, how do I know what to do? John, you did me dirty! Playable cards. Well, I've only got one card. Unless I can choose like a random card that I don't know. Oh, okay. So I've just discarded a card to use this one. I don't know if that was the right choice. I mean, we're going to win, so that's cool. Alright, six cards remaining, five cards remaining. So if you discard it, does it circle back into this pile? Um, we'll stick with Joe, because he is our strongest card. Uh, I'm kind of getting the vibe here. I'm starting to think maybe I, maybe I have played this mode, or I've played something like it. Because I feel like... This, these mechanics aren't too foreign to me. We can do better than notice, I think. Or not. It looks like we're going to win, and we've been paired against like a real poor deck by looks of it. I feel like I've seen these mechanics before. It's, it's somewhat similar to the Royal Rumble, I think. Uh, we'll definitely go with him, because we, we don't have anything anything stronger. They've really put us against like a, a lane team here. What I'm really interested in is how the rewards work. Like, Do you unlock particular cards? Do you get like credits that you can spend in the store? Or something like that. Um, Clearly, I'm not going to have to be too tactical here. They, they've lined us up against a, a, a bot team of basic cards. So we should be okay here. Unless this last one is like an elemental, which I just cannot beat even by chipping it down. Nah, this is alright. Sorry. Sorry, Swiss. We got you. Uh, do you get bonus picks for a perfect game? I mean, how often do you get a perfect game in this? Uh, so we've got some up there. Let's see what. Let's see how the board works on this. I really hope this is a good game mode because I love Ring Dom, but there's nothing else that's really mad for me. So we've just gone straight to the board. So is it just like a um, like a jacked up version of the Wild game where you just you play for points? I'm gonna have to see if there's like a. I'm gonna check the rewards part of this. 
But this is probably a good time to remind you people again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so, like the video, all that stuff. Um, it's been years. I've been gone for years, and now I'm back. So, uh... We're, oh, we're, we've just hit a tear pool. What the hell? Murphy! Hey, a tear pool! This video is banging. This is a banger, I'm telling you. I, I, I'm not trying to be vain, but we've done lots in this video. We're doing good. Cataclysm pool. Oh my god. I only pulled my freebie like maybe five resets ago as well, so I'm kind of surprised. At least I've got a lot of stuff here now. Because I, I, I do need food for the fusion. I need fusion food. That's what I need. Another WrestleMania 34. Those cards are really good looking. It's a shame that I kind of missed the point in the game where they would have been actually useful to me to use. I've not really, um, I've not really struggled against any opponents in any game mode yet. Which I remember back in the day, like, there were certain game modes I just, I couldn't beat people. And it, it, it was a period in the game where it was bordering on pay to win for a little while. But I've been absolutely fine since we come back, we've not had an issue whatsoever. Right, so we've done all our picks. Um, so how does this work? Let's go to rewards. Uh, so basically, you reach a certain level in the board, and what you get... You can get a PvP pack, which is not great. Can only get it's based on your top eight, but only gives you like your your top your top pool. Here one a big bronze pack. Again, it's it's not really amazing, is it? To be honest. And then if you if you get the big the big boy, you might be able to get something beyond your tier, but it's not it's not crazy really. That's a bit of a shame. They're not mad. I've got these, and I don't know how you use these. LP store. 3,000. What can I use? 3,000. Actually, I'm not too far from Asuka then, I suppose. Uh, Giant Platinum League uh, plus plus. So I could technically purchase this, which I'm absolutely not going to. Or you can get some card backs. Okay, so that there, I'm actually bordering on being able to afford. So I could get a Primal Asuka. That would actually change my deck quite significantly or I could just keep staying oh I don't know what to do I'll play a bit because I, I play wild whenever wild comes on not wild you know the uh, the wild-esque version of PvP so I play that a lot I'm gonna grind this a bit so usually with, with like game modes like this where you have to stack tokens or stuff like that I'm usually a bit impatient like um, elimination chamber for example I usually just spend the um, Spend it on like board picks, but yeah, I'm gonna have to stack that because that Asuka card will that will help. So yeah, um, if there is a team, I need to I need to get out of this team. I'm gonna do that. So look, thank you very much for watching Revenant Legend. I'll be back probably next week with another video. I, I'll probably do similar to what I've done here. Anything interesting in the meantime, I'll record, capture quickly, throw it into the main video, and um. Yeah, that's it. If there's anything else you want, you guys want to see me do, please let me know. Comment. I'm on Twitter at Revan the Legend. All that stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I have been Revan the Legend, and I will see you next week. Peace.